Did a husband cross the line when he left his wife at the airport? They had about 15 minutes until boarding started and his wife insisted on going to Starbucks. When the gate agent was about to close the door, he decided to get on the plane and the wife did not make the connection. Somebody who does that to you doesn't respect the time and the effort you put in to somebody and they don't care. And if you're going to allow this disrespect to continue, you are signing up for it for the rest of your relationship. She didn't think she was doing anything wrong. No. She absolutely thought that as a, a, even as a garbage human being, and this is why I tell dudes all the time, put yourself first, because if you don't, she won't. There is so many aspects of our life that is directly related to supporting and, and, and helping your woman, because if you're a man and you have a woman, Part of your value is the fact that your woman is happy. And if she's not happy, we take it personal. Yes, because we love them, but it's also because we see it as failure when our woman is not happy. Two things that men are supposed to be good at, that they have no practice is relationships and sex. And so there's no other situation that no other task or skill set that anybody would expect somebody to be great at with no practice. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. Did a husband cross the line when he left his wife at the airport? The husband explained they had about 15 minutes until boarding started and his wife insisted on going to Starbucks, which was on a different terminal. He told her she didn't have time, but she didn't listen. He waited as long as possible, but when the gate agent was about to close the door, he decided to get on the plane and the wife did not make the connection. Yeah, throw the whole wife away. First of all, he was going to visit his daughter. So when the wife decided to go to another terminal with 15 minutes to board the plane, she made him make a choice between her and his daughter. Erica. So there was a, tri a trip planned before. She overslept, so they already missed the flight. So this is the second time that they're going to try to see his daughter. So when she decided that she was going to delay or just take her sweet time like the plane was supposed to wait for her, then he did the right thing and he got his butt on that plane to go see his daughter. Let me start with this, right? Okay. okay. I'm so tired of black men trashing black women. Mm, okay, so, this is an interesting take here. It, you see you how this woman, this woman held this chick accountable immediately. She, she, so this, this narrative as if that all black women are unreasonable, don't take accountability, da, 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 da. She said, you got your, this is a whole ass bitch. In other words, she was like, your wife is a whole entire bitch. And you made her, him he, you made him choose between his, his, you and his daughter. Why would you do that? So let me start with that. Second of all, shout out to Cinnabon in the building. Mm, we dealt with this the legendary five, Cinnabon. The, yeah, we dealt with this five years ago when my man was telling me that his wife was. But but it wasn't it wasn't a one incident thing. It was like an ongoing incident where every time he would, you know, he would create this huge uh, like like family vacation. For his wife. And the kids and they well, he would do something. He would do it spe special for just him and his wife. Limousine going to pick them up. Five star hotel, you know, fucking hammocks on the beach, all kinds of shit. And then his wife wanted a Cinnabon. She, she, but she would always make them late. They were, they were constantly running late. So what happens right. in that relationship? And I assume is the same case for this story. Yeah. Was this is not a one off. Oh, situation. this is not a one off. You can't tell me that. Yeah. Uh, proud of this guy. I don't know who, who he is, but I'm very much proud of him. If I remember the story, they literally missed this. They missed the flight before this. They yeah. missed. This was like a makeup flight. They've missed several yeah. flights. And it's all because it's his daughter and not her daughter, whatever. Cinnabon was dealing with the same thing. And he had, had counseled you on the advice. Right. And you, right. what was your advice to him? I told uh, him I told him. Well, he actually kind of he. this is always like a pinch of simp in it. Right. He actually. Um, told her she wanted. He he said, "Okay, go do what you want to do." Now he didn't leave, but what he did was he allowed them to miss the flight. And then when they missed the flight, they had to regroup the flight. They had to move. The vacation was spoiled, and uh, he had to he had to book a different hotel for two days until they could get a a a, a reservation at the the hotel that they initially wanted to. Now 
here was here. So it was like just because she wanted a fucking four dollar cinnamon, it was destroying the they, all the plans. They were that running we late. Up. They she knew they were running late. Right. And she's like, hey, do we have time to stop? He goes, oh, sure. And he she just goes, I'm her... hungry. She goes, I'm hungry. He goes, well, what do you want? She goes, I would like a cinnamon. He was like, oh, God, get it. He he actually sat down with her and watched her eat it while the while the plane. <laughs> he watched then... her eat it the way Hannibal Lecter would be watching people <laughs> eat like a piece of their own brain that was being fed to him. You like that? <laughs> Is it delicious? Are you enjoying every piece of the cinnamon? <laughs> Put some more cream on it. <laughs> and then just watched her eat it. And then when they were done, they walked over to the terminal. And she was and like, wow, was, this flight is empty. No, bitch, it's they actually gone. Saw a tumbleweed go across the <laughs> terminal. She goes, there's nobody here. Are you sure we're at the right term? Yeah, we're at the right terminal. Yeah, now, it's gone. Now, now, now let, me, let me go to the fundamentals of this. Somebody who does that to you doesn't respect the effort, the time and the effort you put in to somebody. And they don't care. And if you're going to allow this disrespect to continue, you are signing up for it. Not only are you signing up for it, but you're signing up for it for the rest of your relationship, which is exactly what he did. I told him to go home, give her her ticket, let her figure it out and go home. And then we could sit home and watch each other. Hmm. Right. Watch. We could watch. Uh, we could watch each other in our living room for seven days because you didn't give enough a fuck of a fuck about me hmm. to to, sit to respect me. Sit there and watch the Price is Right in the middle of the day, and go. Well, this would be when we're getting that couple's massage. No, I got it. I I gotta also go. At, go ahead, finish what you were saying. No, I'm just I'm just yeah, just saying like the you know the idea of like, hey, this is what you should. This is what we would be doing instead of sitting here because you're late. You know, instead right. you know, no, let's watch. But let's make a deal instead of going kayaking and you know all that. But anyway, now let me let me tell you what happened to that relationship. So, for instance, he did a portion of what I told him to do. Initially, I, to, initially. I, I, I yeah. told him to go home. You missed the flight. Go home. Because let's let's be honest. How is a man after you do all of that? You bend over backwards to make a great to have a great time to create a great situation. And then how is that not in the back of your mind for the whole vacation after that? That for a Cinnabon, because and because and mind you, she was talking, you yell so much and you this, let's go to the couples therapy and blah, 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 blah. And I'm tired of this, da, 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 right? And then ultimately, um, he 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 did a portion of what because I told him when she does blow, and he was like, Well, I don't want to blow the tickets and this. I go, How much did you spend on that vacation overall? By going to the VK, he said about five thousand. I go, how much would you have lost if you went home? He said maybe four hundred bucks. I go, let's be honest, you didn't go on the vacation for you anyway. You didn't care about going to Belize or whatever the or Turkey or wherever you were going. You did this for her. This was your gesture to her, and then you let her corrupt it. Now, here's here's something that just thought of. I always say that I give guys advice and they do part of it right again i just thought about this even the legendary cinnabon did a portion of that ask me where him and his wife are right now well where how how are they did they celebrate their anniversary together i mean you know it, that was five Div years ago so i divorced oh. he has a beautiful brazilian girlfriend who shines his, his who shines his uh his stainless steel um appliances and cooks for him and takes care of him and they go on walk they go on uh uh they go on st hikes together and his wife is steadily get his ex-wife is steadily getting bigger and bigger and bigger with nobody to she, her mother moved her his wife's mother moved in with her so now she's got the mother and her and the kids living in an apartment where her mother wears watches novellas every day and nobody else can watch TV but the novellas. So that's that's where they're at. Mm -hmm. now. And he's he is absolutely living his best life because of. But let's be honest, if he had listened to me in the first place and 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 left that airport and went home, said, look, I'm going home. So uh, here's your ticket. You want to go, you can do what you want to do. And also, I mean, you counseled him through the marriage because uh, his wife was giving him shit and then asked for a divorce. And what was right. your advice? Well, to he went to, it, well, he went to he went to she asked to go to therapy. And the first day of therapy, she said, I want a divorce. We could have saved the hundred and twenty five dollars. 
for the for the therapy. You could have told me this at home. And here's here's the crazy thing about this. She was a home. She was a stay at home mom. So he had to pay for his lawyer and her lawyer for the divorce. How do you like that? Yeah, that that's if she didn't care. That's the standard practice. That's why men tend not to get married because of, of things like that. Even when you get divorced for whatever reason in this country, it is uh, the laws are geared towards women in that aspect. Um, and men get screwed in divorces. They get screwed in uh, in custody battles and alimony. And then there becomes this narrative. Of, why aren't more people getting married? Yeah. Because it's a, it's a financial it can put you in financial ruin. It's, it's, and the only person that ma that makes out on it is not even it, I mean, even if the woman makes out on it, the, it's the lawyers and the court system that does this. This is a this is a marriage is becomes a, 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 a entity that is simply a, a way to make money. Yeah. So when I saw this, I was like, holy shit, we we dealt with this, which is it, which is also crazy, because think of how many times everybody thinks that their situation is different. You know, this is this is my situation, and you get. Um, it was funny. I was the the consultation. I did a consultation. And the guy go, yo, I kind of feel stupid for paying money to talk to you because the you know the thing about men, two things that men are supposed to be good at that they have no practice is relationships and sex, and so there's no other situation that no other task or skill set that anybody would expect somebody to be great at with no practice. I don't care if you playing tiddlywinks, you get a coach, you pay the coach, you put the time in, you make this the sacrifice, you empty the cup so that you can receive whatever needs to be received so that you can change the direction of that your life is going in because of bad, bad juju and bad direction that you had in the first place. Mm. So and, and crazy. the thing I wanted to get to, because we, we talked about this. When she asked for that divorce, by the way, he called you up. He said, you know, she asked for a divorce. What should I do? And you said flat out, give her the divorce. Give her the give divorce. Her the, the divorce in every aspect. Yeah. 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 Like, uh, yeah. go fill out the papers. Get it done. Let let her mother know. Let her mother, because he was hiding from her mother. And her mother was from was was living in a in a one bedroom in, in Washington Heights. That he had brought his her mother out and she was living in a house and the mother had a her own had the whole basement and the whole thing and all of this and so the thing is if you're not willing to take away all the things that you've that that you've given somebody then why would they appreciate it if there's no consequence to treating somebody like trash why would it matter it just doesn't matter to people i mean you have to have your shit together and you be the best version of yourself so that you are offering something. But the biggest, the biggest deterrent is taking away what you offered because it's unappreciated. It's, it's unappreciated. unappreciated. So when he had to, so he gives her the divorce, we're getting divorced. Then when she has to get the oil changed, he goes, all right, go change your oil. Go change she's your like, oil. Well, you, you usually do it. Not anymore. Not anymore. And go, then she doesn't know online. how to do it. Yeah. She doesn't know how to do it, doesn't know where to go. To, well, here's the number. Call them and figure it out. And so there's so many things as a man because part of, and this is why I tell dudes all the time, put yourself first because if you don't, she won't. There is so many aspects of our life when we're in a relationship that is directly related to to supporting and, and, and helping your woman because if you're a man and you have a woman, part of your your value is the fact that your woman is happy. And if she's not happy, we take it personal. If your woman's bitching and carrying on and never happy and stuff like that, we take it personal. So we want to fix that. Not just because, yes, because we love them, but it's also because we see it as failure when our woman is not happy. Yeah, it, it feels like we're not doing our job because part of our job is making a woman happy. Keeping We're a roof unsettled. over your head, taking care of your kids, providing for your family, making her happy. Those are all if you if you embark in a marriage and a relationship, that's what your response. Are. And if none of those things are happening, you feel inadequate about yourself. And then as you feel inadequate, you become insecure. And as you become insecure, you become you start simping. And when you start simping, she loses attractiveness about you because you're too soft and you become a pushover. And then she leaves you anyway. You know, we're always talking about accountability. 
but there's no, no greater accountability than supporting us on the Patreon at patreon.com slash manschool202 helps us keep doing what we're doing. Yeah, that's right. Patreon.com slash manschool202. That's where we do all the bonus content for the show. Uh, we talk about a lot of game, a lot of technique, and we also archive all the old episodes starting from episode one. So if you love the show and you want to support the show, come on over and join us at patreon.com slash manschool202. And if you can't do that, at the very least, do us a favor, like and subscribe below and tell your friends. And do all. Do all of the above. Yeah. Base. Let's go. Yeah. You got to be strong enough to, to protect your woman from herself. You got to be strong enough to protect your woman from from her, her herself from her emotions. You got to protect you from her emotions. And you got to protect the relationship from her emotions because you know how it's going to turn, turn out. Women okay, so are in the moment and men are always planning. Now, what 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 about people who say, why would you say that women are more emotional or why would you say that women are can't control their emotions? If somebody said that, I, I think that both parties have problems. Com Look, if you if you can't control your emotions, you're not even going to get a girl because it, she doesn't feel safe with you. But there is um, I, I there, it's genetic. There's a maternal kind of feeling that women have just that this the way that they're re able to read emotions is directly connected to their maternal ability to, to 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 raise the species i mean we cannot take for granted that um that there is a biological em element to this mm -hmm. that there is a genetic element to this and, when, and the body now, chemistry at the same time, too. You know, we have different chemistry. They have more energy. Uh, their percentages of, of energy. I'm sorry. Their, their percentage of, of testosterone, testosterone versus estrogen is different than yeah. the male the male uh, ratio of testosterone and, and estrogen. And it affects you emotionally. And there's nothing wrong with that. That's not saying that men are smarter or better. It's just different. It's just I have a, I have a There's a trans... There's a tra I have a trans friend of mine that transitioned to a man and started doing the, the testosterone therapy. And 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 he right said to me, now I get it. He goes, now when I when somebody walks by with a fat ass, I like, yeah, yeah I'm looking. I'm 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 aroused by it. It there's a direct correlation to the chemical imbalances or the chemical differences between men and women. And to try to act like that doesn't happen is just absurd. It's just such an absurd thing to do. I mean, I'm not saying that people don't have freedom of choice and people you like, look, pet, human beings are not vegan. You can make a choice to be vegan, but you have to make a conscious choice to do that. OK, mm. so you only eat you only eat meat. You don't need any meat anymore. OK, but now you have to you have to consciously make an effort to make sure that you have enough protein, enough vitamins, that you're getting the proper amounts of nutrients because of it, because it's not natural. Mm. What do you want to do? Yeah. I mean, the, it's like saying here's what's and what's interesting even about that. We're at this place where we we understand that nobody chooses to be gay. Right. And so we have an understanding that that. Nobody chooses to be gay, just like nobody chooses to be to be uh, straight. Straight. Yeah. But then all of a sudden, when it comes to the differences for men and women, then all of a, that's not even a conversation that we can have. Look, I know, like my my um my step my half sister, right? Mm. Um, yo, she was beating up dudes when we was in third grade. She used to take up for me. Her nickname is Sarge. Right. Jesus she was she, she beat In up third dudes. grade, third grade, fourth grade. She was she was like our protector. She always had this 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 kind of masculine way about her. And 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 it, she didn't make that choice. It was just always so. So if we can understand that, that people have a different a, a different approach to things and it's not and it's natural then are we saying that women don't have that approach sure there were women who are masculine and there are situations where that 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 it is a spectrum and it moves but can we have a discussion about what the spectrum is and can we identify that somebody may have a propensity to a particular spectrum that somebody has it's just absurd i mean we can't even have reasonable conversations about this stuff anymore no, no, no. And it's, uh, you know, again, it doesn't make one side 
uh, better. That's the the pro. That's the problem with the red pill movement. That uh, unfortunately, you and Patrice kind of started in a way that planted the seeds unintentionally. Um, the the notion that it's about shitting on one side. Oh, women don't do yeah. this. Women don't do that. All right, but they're women. Like that's what they're gonna do. You can't be mad at fish for swimming. That's what they do. Yeah. Yeah. It's not intentional. It's uh, there are things that happen intentionally for sure. Uh, it, you know, being rude. We talked about that cheesecake factory lady. That clip is yeah. has yeah. Uh, been seen by a lot of people. You know, be you. You don't have to be rude. You don't have to be mean. But there are other subconscious things that women do. You right. know, and there are subconscious things that men do. Well, to uh, be honest, even when we talk about the cheesecake, she didn't think she was doing anything wrong. No. She absolutely thought that as a, a even as a garbage human being, she that this is this is. And then she had this conf uh, confirmed bias because she talked about, oh, me and my girls, we would never yeah. go to cheesecake. Yeah, because all your girls is fucking single and alone and they're all fucking cunts. Uh, of course. you. So and then I, you and it's this. also because how she was raised. If you, if you watch the second video that we put up. Yeah about the cheesecake factory lady she goes on about well that's how i was raised that when you're courting a woman you do everything she wants and you pay for everything like and you get her whatever she wants so she's not wrong but then yeah. the question was what are you bringing to the table what do you do what she is never, your responsibility? She never had to ask that question she that's never been a requirement because of the the way men approach it because every time if there was a time somebody said no there's always another man who was willing to put his uh, manhood aside just for an opportunity at a scratch off of maybe getting sex with her. And I'll tell you something. She also says in that interview, she says, um, uh, she talks about how, uh, like she says, says she was raised this way. And she said, there are men who come out and they spend money. They, they have no problem spending money and buying whatever you want. And he, and she goes, yeah, but you know, it then it becomes transactional that they only want from you what they want from you and then they're ready to move on which is you know it's basically like some some hybrid form of prostitution and then she says and women don't usually respect the guy who is who does that who's just willing to do it. so even in her own admission so she what's interesting about the lack of awareness is that you have this awareness about that you wouldn't even respect a guy who does that, but yet and still you're asking a guy to do that. Why not ask, not ask him, why not go into this date in a good faith situation? Because here's the thing, even if you're in it a good faith and it all goes well, it still could go to shit. Like it could still all things, all things equal compatible same upbringing same mentality money this that you're matching you could still end up shit yeah yeah and so why not try to limit that try to why use not? why are you making it harder why, yeah. why are you making why it make more it difficult harder? all right let's uh let's speaking of uh hard relationships here let's pull up this clip uh today it turned out to be just a clip watching day this is uh but it's good because this is like watching game film today that's what we're doing you know, also so Patreon people, don't forget tomorrow I will be streaming live, taking questions on uh Godfrey Podcast in Godfrey We Trust Podcast and the YouTube channel, our YouTube channel, um uh, Man School 202 yeah, YouTube any, channel. Anybody um, who wants to watch it, you can it'll be streaming on the Man School 202 YouTube channel every Tuesday night for the foreseeable future. Around yeah. what time would you say? Around what time? Uh, we'll that? probably be up and running around eight o'clock East eight, Coast eight, time. Eight o'clock East Coast. Maybe time. Mm, let me see. Maybe like eight thirty nine. Between eight thirty and nine, we'll be up and running. Okay, so check that out, and you know, uh, check that out. And Dante's doing Q and A. There'll be a number there you can call in. It's a good time. I've I've, uh, I've been watching the stream. Which myself. ultimately we're going to get ready to do, to do it. it here. We're going to absolutely. Be, we're going to do yeah. it here. We're doing a lot of changes, and you've noticed them, and you've been you've been receptive. So thank you guys for supporting us. Thank you to also the like and share. Send the videos, man. Please help help the people that are around you. I know we all have people who we know are in pain. Um, let's help them out too. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. Better man. Well, put your happiness first, because if you don't, they won't.